mention, um, this is only one uh, family member of the Westman's family, the contrabands. We have two other family members. We all get along, like unlike most families. Uh, the next one coming up is the uh, concert, the, sorry, the choirs are having a concert on Saturday, May the 5th at McDougal United Church, which is just down the road from here. That's at 7 o'clock. Uh, so if you want to hear the choir end of things, I welcome you to come out to that. And also think about joining the choirs as well if you don't want to lug around instruments. It, um, <laughs> choir is pretty, uh, just got to carry a folder, that's about it. And also the jazz bands have a couple of really good events coming up. Um, on the 13th of May, which is a Sunday, at the Ironwood in Inglewood, uh, there's a, apparently an amazing trumpet player coming up from the States named Terrell Stafford. Um, and he's going to be playing with the Silver Jazz and the Wednesday Night Gold Jazz at the Ironwood at 2.30. And the Terrell Stafford Quartet will also be playing with some local people, uh, Tavo Hornby, Ruben Del Toledo, pardon my pronunciation, Chris Andrew. Uh, and that's at Beatnik, which is downtown, a really good jazz club. And that's going to be the Friday and the Saturday. And tickets are available next week. You can check the website or you can talk to some of the uh, jazz members. Uh, and all kind of other things too, there, um, again, John mentioned this is our, the 25th year next year, and if you're interested in joining, I see a lot of people not wearing black, which means you are all potential members, <laughs> so you can think about joining, really, if you've never played music or if you want to try something else, it's a great experience, you won't know what you did without it uh, once you join, and we have a really exciting trip coming up in 2013 to China. Um, so again, check the website for that. There's going to be interest meeting or uh, information meeting in May. So if you're interested in playing and seeing China, it's a great way to um, go with a group. And also, there is a, uh, right now already in the works is a trip. The choirs are going to the Maritime, so we're going to stay on local soil, and that's another choir trip coming up. So there's there's trips coming up every other year. There's lots of different events. So think about it. Um, I'll stop talking now, so I'll go back there, and I'll let Mike Sackett introduce the winner of stuff. This evening isn't that, but it is, <laughs> but it is uh, challenging in its own right. Um, Celebration by Philip Spark is a very challenging piece of music, probably about a grade six level piece of music. So, it, uh, grade six being, you know, up near the upper end, college level, university level music. And what a grade six piece usually has in it is exposed sections, where you have solos that have to step up and take ownership. Um, so a lot more exposed sections, um, and also the technical aspect is there as well. Uh, when, we, when I selected this piece to play, uh, we were missing some parts. I had a copy of it here, and the only other place in Canada that had it was the University of Toronto, because we don't in necessarily in this part of the world play as much British music as we do uh, American music or Canadian music. So it's kind of unique that we get to play a piece like this. Uh, it is rather heavy. It's, I think the pieces, we've taken a few repeats out, 
and it's still going to be about 10 minutes long. My conductor score is 96 pages long. <laughs> so, we hope you enjoy Philip Sparks' celebration.